Hello everyone, how are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. So today, explanation of the fifth dimension. So let's see how we can explain this, which seems easy, but it's not, I guess. So before we start, something that I wanted to clarify so you all know and 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 you can tell other people just in case is that I read everything. I always read all the comments that you post here and everywhere. Even if I don't answer, I read it. I don't know if you notice, but sometimes some people some people disappear from the comments. So sometimes it's because I block them. And I want to explain why. Because my social media, my the space that I am using in Facebook and Instagram is my space, is my uh, um, place that I share there where I put all my, my things. It's not a public uh, space, okay? Like, for example, if it's the state of Egypt, the state of whatever of Argentina is the state. So it's public, we pay taxes, so we deserve to say whatever we want. But in the spaces that belongs to a person, that person can decide what to do with their social media. So, um, so this is why I block or erase comments that insult or say wrong things about someone or myself, okay? I don't block when people disagree with me. I don't block when someone is, um, uh, is saying something against uh, when someone is um, maybe disagreeing with the concepts or adding something that I didn't see, whatever. But when that those persons goes beyond the respect, treating the others bad, uh, saying wrong things, saying bad things to others, um, I will block them because it's my right, my space, okay? So I just wanted to say this, if you see someone disappearing from um, from the place, <laughs> from my spaces. Okay, um, so just wanted to say this to clarify that. Uh, so the key for me is respect, that we can always disagree with someone, ask some something or whatever, without the need, um, without the need of disrespect someone, okay? So just saying this for future situations, just in case. There were some questions that I wanted to clarify. Um, just to um, clarify uh, a question that was not a question, was a suggestion um, that was saying that, um, this month explaining the 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 dimensions is being too much mind to abstract and um it should be much more lovely and magic like pisces is um so i just want to clarify um to to clarify this um that uh we are in the mental week we are explaining through the men the mind the things of pisces so um, so when we get into the emotional week and the physical week, we can explain the magic and the love and all the things with the background of the mind. Mm -hmm. So we can have basically the structures of where that mind of Pisces moves through uh, so we can understand the emotional concepts. Okay, So that's why we are explaining this now in a very mental way. Mm -hmm. So another question or comment that I read that I think is important to clarify um, is about the idea that we have that the beings from other dimensions are controlling us um, in this dimension, are controlling us in, in, our, um, in our reality. Like if there is a master of the puppets and we are the puppets. Um, and that we don't have this free will because everyone from other dimensions are basically deciding what we are doing in this 
third dimensional reality. But um, I also this brought the concept of having the idea of a higher self, which encodes the idea of a lower self. So for the universe, this doesn't really exist because as I am writing, I call the higher self the am and the lower self the I. So I am is a whole thing. This one cannot work without the other one. Okay, so it's not higher or lower. These conceptions are from the earth, from the structure of reality, from our point of view, from our human point of view of how we structure reality. Okay, so it's important to understand that when we describe the dimensions, we are not describing them from the point of view of humanity. We are describing it from the point of view of just geometry, which doesn't have the morals that we have. Okay. So um, saying this um, uh, is, I think, is, is necessary to clarify that, um, that there is no one outside um, controlling us um, that is us in different levels, okay? But now I will try to explain that in a very human way so we can all get um, this idea. So, for example, I will explain something that happens to myself, not anyone else, but me. Hmm? So, during my life, I had this conflict with myself, believing that Gan, my higher self, was a higher self, was someone from the outside. So, that person, that being, was controlling my life. I felt like a puppet from the master of the puppets. So, this one, this being, was controlling my life. And I kind of wanted to be free. So I said, I don't want to have that being telling me what to do and controlling my whole life. What I want to do is to be free, to be by my own. So I decided to disconnect from Gan many times in my life. And when I did that, my life was terrible, was horrible. Everything was completely a mess, a disaster. So, um, so I was thinking at that time that this was because of him, because my higher self was trying to control me and was doing everything wrong in order for me to not to have the proper life, being free. So, so I blame him because of this. Until with the years, I suddenly recognized, oh, no. The thing is that Gan is not someone else controlling my life. Gan, my higher self, is a part of me in another dimension, and I am a part of him in another dimension. So we are one. We are one together. So that's why when I wanted to separate myself from it, everything went wrong because I was disconnected from myself. <clears throat> so that's why... Um, that's how I understood that, no, I'm a part of it. It's not someone different controlling me. And now let's go into the opposite way. Me, Matthias, this body, is the higher self of my liver. My liver is an organ inside of me, so it's a tiny part in another dimension of myself. So this being here, the entire body, is a higher self of the liver. Now ask yourself, how many times did you ask to your liver what you wanted to eat? How many times did you How many times did you ask yourself to uh, did you ask to your liver what does he wants to eat? Isn't there sometimes that you just eat sugar or you just want coke uh, or a pizza and that's it and you just eat it not asking your liver hmm? <coughs> so 
that's how um, that's how you have to see it in a big picture. So the reason why we think or why we believe that someone outside is controlling our lives is because we are not aware still of how to handle our own, hmm? how to handle our, our own um, uh, reality, OK? So because we don't know how to handle it, we don't know how to um, how to handle it. We relay our power to someone bigger that has much more awareness about ourselves. Hmm? That would be until we become aware by ourselves. So let's go now to the fifth dimension. So let's go to understand the fifth dimension in order to see why the fifth dimension is ruling our lives until we know how to do it by ourselves, being conscious, being aware. From now, I must tell you that it won't be easy to live in the fifth dimension. So I would just advise you to relax. Um, so now remember this, this is the fourth dimension. Here we have the third dimension, here the, here the fourth. So let's picture it like this is the past. This here is the past. This is the present, the process, and this is the future. So remember that here, the cube has its potentiality in the fourth dimension and expands itself outside, creating another one. So this is what is showing us the different timelines of something from the, first, the third dimension. So, uh, so remember, for example, we are in the third dimension here, but as you can see, if you see all the videos since when we began, I have the hair longer, beer, I have eye bags <laughs> and dying slowly. So you can see the difference. And that means that you can see the fourth dimension because I'm changing. So we all are changing constantly. So that's the fourth dimension. The only thing that happens from the third dimension is that we are not being able to handle that, to manipulate the fourth dimension. But we can see it and experience. Hmm? So in the same time that this is happening in the third and the fourth dimension, another dimension is happening too. Which is this one. So this is a mirror, which means that from the third dimension, expanding itself through the fourth dimension in the process of time, we have the fifth dimension, which is the mirror of all that. Third dimension equals space, fourth dimension equals time. Mm -hmm. Idiom. So here we have perfectly space and time. What is the fifth dimension? It's a reflection of time and space. So let's go into a simple example of this. The simple example of this would be like, go and watch yourself in a mirror. Put yourself in front of a mirror and you will see that this body is the third dimension. That the fourth dimension is the process, the time that you take while watching yourself in the mirror. So the time is passing by and an inner process is happening through the vision. And you see the reflection in the mirror, which is the fifth dimension. So 
as an example, what is happening here. That as I look into the mirror, my reflection is looking me back. I'm watching myself in the mirror. My reflection is watching me. Hmm? So with the example of the reflection in the mirror, we can make a summary of all this. But let's complicate it a little bit more. Why am I using the cube? Because the cube is the easier way to explain all this, to draw this. Because if I have to explain it with people, I have to draw many different lines and things. It's easier to do it with a cube. But imagine now that this cube in the third dimension is me, my body, here. So me, I am living a life through the fourth dimension. I am living a process of life, OK? So as I am living a process of life, I have a side, a reflection, which is a parallel life, where it's me reflecting myself and watching my own process. So now it's important to understand that this is not like a straight like that. This is not like I am here in the third dimension, so my reflection in the parallel will be also in the third dimension, and this one in the fourth dimension, the time. No, this is a summary of things. They go attaching concepts. So all this is not happening a reflection of the third, a reflection of the fourth. It's happening everything in the fifth dimension. So this is not like this. And I am going to explain now what it means. To explain this, I am a being in the third dimension that lives a life through the fourth dimension in time. So both of them project in the fifth dimension. And what is the fifth dimension? Is the connection and the logics of these two together. OK, so this means that the fifth dimension is the one that can answer why and what for. The third dimension will ask why. The fourth dimension will ask what for. So the fifth dimension, by this reflection, is the one that will be able to answer the question why and answer the question what for. The reason why the fifth dimension is the answer of why and what for is because this is not aligned exactly with, the, with each one of the dimensions. It's the summary of everything that happened here. So what happened in the matter and then happens through time, this all together is reflected. And this means that in the fifth dimension, you have the whole package of everything that happened in the past and the present and the future of your whole existence. So the life you are living in the fifth dimension is the one that is aware of all your existence from the beginning till the end. This is why the fifth is the dimension of consciousness. So why is the consciousness? Because it can see everything from the unity. The unity of what? The unity between time and space. And this is why the beings that live here are called guides and masters. And why is this? Because a guide is the one that tells you where you go, and the masters are the ones that explain to you why you go. So now, for example, have you ever listened to the question or have someone ever make you the question made you the question if you 
were able to speak with your with a child you once were what would you say to yourself have you heard this question have you done it in some therapy or something if you heard this question this is a question for the fourth dimension because from you being an adult right now you use the resources of the fourth dimension in order to speak with yourself in the past okay so that would be a question like for example what would you say so maybe you being an adult you tell to your kid don't worry everything is going to be okay don't be afraid whatever hmm? so why would be different when we listen the voices of a guide or a master that is in the fifth dimension giving us advices of what to do, where to go. What if the voices that we hear from the fifth dimension, from guides and masters, what if they are just trying to help us help themselves in another dimension by guiding themselves, us, to go properly through the third and the fourth dimension in the same way as we use the third, the fourth dimension to speak with our past in order to heal it. So <clears throat> the beings in the fifth dimension, there are beings that exist, that are real, that are there. Masters with their names, with their story, everything. But they are beings that accomplish to or manage to transcend and unify the space and time as one. So that's why they can see everything. So we can talk to them, we can say whatever to them, and they will listen to us because they are us in a different reality, in a different dimension. So these are aspects and beings that are able to see everything from the unity. But really, they are ourselves watching ourselves. Hmm? Remember that we are all one. So what we are doing by being one um, is to experience and transcending different stages from ourselves. Like, for example, you are not the same when you were seven years than when you are 30 years, when you are 60 years old. It's not the same. You change. We all change. We are not the same person. So this is exactly as it happens with the fifth dimension, when we transcend into another dimension, it's exactly the same as we, with 60 years old, transcended the seven years old. This is why we can consider that they are different beings with different names, with different lives, and even though they are me. Be aware of this. We cannot understand this from a lineal process. The line disappears here. It disappears in the third dimension. With the fourth dimension, the timeline is completely different. So we are now in the fifth dimension, completely different. There is no line. This is why it's difficult to understand. So now, why so many people are willing to live in the fifth dimension? So the reason why so many people want to go to the fifth dimension is because the fifth dimension is the unity between time and space. 
time and space. Why is unity and why we want to live in the fourth dimension, in the fifth dimension? Because the physics of space and the quantics of time, they become together as one. And that means that we can live our dreams. We can manifest our dreams. See? This is why we picture the fifth dimension like this beautiful and amazing place, utopia, where everything is perfect. And why is that? Because in difference from the fourth dimension, there is clarity and consciousness. This means that in the fifth dimension, we don't have confusion. We don't have these conflicts. So there are some people that are asking, what is a quantum leap, you say in English? So what is this? So what is the quantum leap that all the people are talking about to go to the fifth dimension? Can you see this? See? A leap, jumping, is a concept. So this little person doesn't have to jump. It has to project itself. See? A quantum leap means that one being projects itself into another dimension completely. We humans make this quantum leap by dying when we are unaware. We die and we go into another dimension. But if we become fully aware, we can do this leap physically, which is like an alien, like the aliens does going here. Coming here. So many aliens that live in, th in three-dimensional worlds they use the fourth dimension and even the fifth dimension in order to move from one world to another. So this means that they are not using space to move through, they are using time. When a being moves through space in the third dimension, they will need this projection in order to go here, to go to a spot, to a place. But a being that moves through time can make this jump here. Because what it really is doing is to bend time and space. If one being is in the fifth dimension, what would they do? A being from the fifth dimension doesn't need to travel, neither from time, neither through space. Because 
is always in the same spot. But we are here, moving through time and space in the middle, in between. So because we are here, in between time and space, we are determined, attached to only one vision, which is the vision of the distance, the space. And that's why we cannot see the whole options. So for example, us from the earth, when we see a star, we can see that the light is coming to us and it will take certain light years of distance. Hmm? But from the fifth dimension, this star is everywhere. So as we are watching straight to one object, straight there, and we see one reality in the third dimension, we can measure in the third dimension, other beings from other realities can see a totally different way of moving. So that's why they can get through a mirror or appear from nothing, something like that. So this is why we can say a being appear like there, in a place, why they appear and disappear so easily. Because it's not that they are just, I don't know, magical. They just turn a corner of a dimension that we cannot perceive. So the reason of all this mental explanation is basically to try to understand a little bit the magic. So we will keep um, talking about dimensions. Um, so take a deep breath. So all the dark things in the universe that holds the stars, the sun, the planets, everything, the dark side of the cosmos is held by the fifth dimension. So now take a deep breath. I will try to make it short. So let's imagine now that this is like a star or a planet. Now, for example, we have here the moon and the earth. So we usually say that this is the concept of gravity, which means that whatever object that has much more weight attract the ones that has lower weight. So the moon, for example, is attracted to the earth because the earth is bigger. So because of this, it is pulled to the earth. But the thing is that why they levitate, why they floatate, where are they exactly? Gravity comes from Latin and means quality of weight. Hmm? Is a quality of weight. If gravity is weight, this can say that, okay, the moon is, is smaller, so that's why it fall down here. But why the moon is not falling down straight to the planet and it's going around. Again, here, I'm sorry for the people that believe the Earth is flat. Um, so now, what, what has been um, trying to be explained by theories is that this is much more related with the networks of time and space, like this kind of net. Imagine that this line here is called space. Imagine that these lines here are called time. So this theory says everything in the universe is whole 
by two constants. The constants means that it's eternal. So the constants are time and space. So we came back to our lines of time and space. So imagine now that these planes start to curve themselves, contracting each other, so creating matter. So the first particles are created by the conjunction of time and space, of the constant of time and space. So as much more particles of matter, much more weight. So as much the weight of the matter, the matter starts to curve the lines of time and space. So the moon is not falling or floating around the Earth is falling in a spiral way towards the Earth, falling or going away, depending. So as you see, the object like this is the one that has weight, is the matter. Matter is not space. Space is the place through where the matter is moving. It's not the matter, okay? It's another thing. The matter is the result of the combination of time and space. It's the result of it. Okay. So remember, in the fifth dimension, in the fifth dimension, there is not up or down. It's a whole and everything. So, what from our point of view is a weight that goes down from the fifth dimension, it also goes up and goes to one side, to another side, behind and in front. So from the fifth dimension, this object is expanding and contracting towards every direction as a constant reflection. So basically, is the fifth dimension the one that is allowing everything to levitate in the space? So right now we have spoken about the sightseeing of how is the fifth dimension. So when we get much more emotional, maybe we will speak about who are the beings that live there. And if you have any question, you can do it. You can do them to yourself of the fifth dimension. <coughs> so let's go to the alignment. So just before we start with alignment, um, uh, I remind you, it doesn't matter if you don't understand it now. Don't worry. Uh, even myself, if, if I am the one explaining now, it takes a lot of time to discover this. And also, I will have a lot of time to rediscover new ways to understand the fifth dimension. So um, we are all in process to understand it. So don't worry. It's not necessary to understand it now. Okay, Just take the information, and then you will know what to do some someday somehow. Don't worry. Just to to um, to help all the people that maybe says why I can't understand this or it's too much or whatever, I would just to say this: fool is the one that believes that knows everything. Okay, so we are all wondering. We're all trying to understand new things. So don't worry. Don't rush. The vibration for today is Leo. Yeah. The statement for today is I am love in unity. The code for today is to reproduce. 
the production or reproduction process is related to the cosmic integration and planetary autumn. This means that during the next process of life, both biologically and mentally, we'll need to produce in the form of kits or projects, but both mean that it's the time to unify all experiences and acquired knowledge to be expressed in a final product that can continue along the path on its own, like an inheritance, like a heritage from us to the world. So let's go to the line notes. I sit comfortable, close my eyes, and concentrate in the breathing. I take a deep breath and become aware of my body and the place I find myself now. <sighs> take a deep breath and with my imagination I expand the place, I expand the room towards the infinite, expanding the roof, the floor, the walls, in every direction, disappearing towards the infinite, feeling surrounded by the universal void. I recognize the axis of my first dimension connecting up and down through the, through the spine and down up my positive and negative. I recognize the shape, the human figure of my second dimension. I take a deep breath and become aware of the depth of my physical body in the third dimension. Take a deep breath and become aware of all the things that you have been, you are and you will be as this individual, as this being, here and now, through the time of the fourth dimension. I 
I take a deep breath and I see above, below, in front, behind, in both sides, images of myself with different faces, different clothes, different colors coming towards me from all the directions, watching me as I recognize that they are my guides and masters. I see them as the reflections of myself in the fifth dimension, smiling at me. Recognizing that they are guiding me through life. I recognize all of these masters. I recognize all these kinds. I allow myself to interact with them, to feel how they touch me, how they share with me their visions of clarity and awareness. I see a sign feel all of them, I go deep to my heart and I start to connect them all as one to me through my, through my vibration. I am all of them. I am the unity in this fifth dimension. Todos los maestros viven en mí. All the masters live in me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
I am the love in unity. 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 I believe all the masters live in me. Take a deep breath as you expand this consciousness all around yourself, your being, coming back here and now, each one at its own time. Thank you everybody for being here as always and see you tomorrow at the same time.